Hi, welcome to a lab short lecture. Today we're going to talk about a lab weighing stations, especially weighing highly hazardous chemical powders using a high set precision balance. There are two main issues we need to address. Number one is how do you provide the maximum protection to the chemist? Number two, how do you uh, create a stable environment where you can do uh, accurate measurements? Let us go straight into the first issues. Uh, how do we provide protection to the chemist from inhalation of the hazardous chemical powders while they are doing measurements. I will going to introduce you the concept of an OEB. What is an OEB classified chemicals? Okay. OEB stands for Occupational Exposure Ban. Uh, it is a ban because it is a range of danger to classify the risk of chemical powders according to the methods specified by NIOSH USA. Because there are so many types of chemical powders, there are like you know, over 85,000 commercially available um, drugs powders, chemical powders. So there do not have uh, enough uh, OEL for each and every chemicals powder out there. OEL stands for Occupational Exposure Limits. There is near impossible to generate OEL for each chemical powder. Therefore, in uh, pharmaceutical uh, industries, they came up with the method of OEB, which referring to a range of danger way of classify the powders. So how do they create it? Uh, based on the data they collected from in vitro uh, and animal studies, and also the available reports on the human health effects uh, from all these from information, the pharmaceutical company uh, we classify the chemical powder into um, OEB ranges. Let's look at the ranges. This is the examples of the OEB classified uh, range. Right? So the smaller the number, the less hazardous, the higher the number, the more toxic and high hazardous. As you can see here, OEB ones uh, is non-hazardous, so a person operator can basically inhale up to a maximum 5,000 micrograms per cubic meters of, of this powder. And, uh, and you can see here from level 4 and level 5, especially level 5, which is highly hazardous, um, the operator shouldn't inhale more than uh, 1 microgram per cubic meter. So if a, if a chemical is within a range of, say, OEB5, which means that chemical powder is highly toxic and hazardous. According to ISP, International Society of Pharmaceutical Engineering, specify that any OEB more than 3, 3, 4, 5, and 6, uh, an enclosure, a containment are required okay, to provide protection to the user while doing your measurements. Containment means a device which can avoid the, the chemical powder to free away from the emission source. So only enclosure uh, can, under certain condition, to provide an efficient containment to protect the user. Now we're going to see which equipment is available uh, for the laboratory while the operator is doing weighing, especially on the toxic um, hazardous powder. The first one is very, very common out there, which is uh, we do measurement on the bench, right? Open, open bench. There's no enclosure, there's no containment, and there's no safety. Second common um, situation that we observe is um, under a suction arm. So there's also no enclosure, there's no containment. Um, the powder can free. Uh, from the balance and being inhaled by operators, so there's no safety as well. The third uh, situation is using a ducted film hoods. Uh, no doubt there's enclosure, uh, there's protections, but the problem, the issue is the fluctuations because uh, ducted film hood generate high turbulence airflow inside the hood 
and it's near impossible for you to get you know uh, uh, very accurate measurements for um, for high accuracy balance for instance uh, analytical balance four decimal place up to six decimal place measurements is, is near impossible to do it inside a ducted film hoods then come the filtered film hood um, which is the preferred way why because it provides enclosure it has low airflow uh, typically 0.4 up to 0.6 meter per second it provides containment at the same time because of the smooth airflows uh, less turbulence so it basically provides stable environment for weighing applications so this is a preferred method let's look at the method number five uh, which is doing measurement inside a glove box definitely there's enclosure there's a good containment um, because uh, there's basically no airflow because it's enclosed inside a glove uh, it's, it provides a stable environment for measurements because uh, no airflow but it's rather not practical because most of the glove box are disposable uh, it's very expensive so it's not practical for day-to-day um, -day, um, uh, weighing applications so I will summarize that future film hoods uh, will be the preferred way for to provide protections uh, for weighing applications right? so according to ISPE uh, specify that a proper filtered film hood need to go through a containment test to, to ensure that it provides maximum protections to the user. This picture shows uh, how they done uh, the containment test. During the test, they basically weigh 10 grams of lactose uh, three times in the enclosure. And the the A sample is, uh, is uh, collected from six different points. As you can see from these slides, the first one is from the room, is basically to, to get the best line. Number two is the left and right side of the sash opening. Number three is the center of the opening where you have uh, hand motions while you do the measurements. Number four is on the waist bag or you can say waist box. Um, number five is uh, at the exhaust after the HEPA filters to make sure uh, the powders and the chemicals is not uh, discharged back to the room. And number six is at the breathing zone of the operator, the, the breathing areas. From this data collection, so we will know whether a filtered film hood is suitable for a which class of OEB, whether it's four, five, or even six. So, Erlab Capture Smart Weighing Station uh, Future Film Hoods has been tested the ISPE uh, containment test, and the result is amazing. Um, all six different points, uh, the results are below than 0 0.1 microgram per cubic meter. As you can remember, the OEB 5 stated that maximum um, powder a person can inhale is less than one microgram per cubic meter now here is less than 0 0.1 microgram per cubic meter which means uh, filtered film hoods can be used uh, for oeb6 let's go into issues number two the accident stabilities from our discussions just now um, filtered film hoods which is the CapTest Smart Film Hood, is the best solution for weighing application. It can be used for balance up to six decimal place, which is very, very sensitive. It's up to 0 0.001 microgram measurements accuracies. It provides excellent containment and stabilities while doing measurements. Compared with ducted film hoods with high turbulence airflow, it is l less optimum because it has weak containment. High turbulence, the higher the turbulence, uh, the tendency to leak out from the film hoods is higher. At the same time, there is no stability because the high airflows so will create a fluctuations um, while doing measurements. So, Erlab Smart 
filtered film hoods comes with a stability tables with a graphite worktop uh, which is well levered uh, the design is optimized for weighing applications you will get a pneumatic arms to ensure the such the cover opening and a close um, as smooth as possible and you also get at the two side of the opening uh, an air foils to reduce the turbulence at the two sides of the foot and the top of the filtered film hood you will get HEPA filters and also carbon filters um, HEPA filters for powders and carbon filters for toxic uh, vapors this slide shows how the Capture Smart uh, filtered film hoods uh, provide you full protection and stable weighing environment so at the such opening the FS velocity is maintained uh, within 0.4 to 0.6 meter per second according to NFX 15 to 1 1 standards and it also comply to uh, our local DOSH requirement for any film hoods so we are gone through the ISPE containment test uh, the result of 10 is less than 0 0.1 microgram per cubic meters, which means OEB 3, 4, 5, and 6, these film hoods are suitable for your applications. And for the filter, the filtration efficiencies, uh, you have options of HEPA filters and also ALPA filters. The following photos show some of the real uh, installations uh, we did. This is the system we installed in CIRIM, the Standard and Industrial Research Institute of Malaysia. Um, they use it for uh, weighing applications. Uh, this is the lattice systems um, installed in CIRIM uh, with a lattice uh, design with airfoil and pneumatic arms. More photos. These tools are from the industry. Uh, factories, food factories, uh, they use Capture Smart Film Hoods for um, weighing large quantity of culture media so the operators are protected. We have a wide range of uh, weighing stations, the filtered film hoods to choose from so from various sizes from 2.6 feet, 3 feet up to 4 feet. So do Take some time to visit our website www.tms-lab.com and get more information and keep in touch with us. Thank you for listening to this lecture.